So I'm, a, a, I'm actually a child clinical psychologist. And, and so, um, so prior to joining the, de the department, I, I per worked in clinical practice for a, a number of years. Um, and, um, and so did that in a few different settings, mostly within in hospital-based settings. And, um, and I think what, uh, you know, what kind of inspired me to, to join Family Social Science was I, was, I, wanted, to, um, I wanted to see sort of a, a broader level of change in the work that I was doing. And my research focuses on um, community-based um, uh, preventive interventions for, for youth and families who are facing you know, mental health problems um, and, uh, and also, also behavioral substance use challenges. Um, and so, so a lot of, so a lot of what I do is, is try to um, try to kind of um, uh, optimize or, or improve um, the, so some of the some, some of the programming that, that, that youth and families receive as a part of those services. And so, as a as a graduate student, there, there's a lot of different ways that that um, they might become involved, and both so so both at kind of the, the direct service level. You know, oftentimes um, students are able to. Um, to, to, to get involved with, um, you know, co with collecting, you know, different research measures from, from families to help, you know, helping to, to, to evaluate, you know, some of the services that are being provided. So they might sit in on a, on a, on a group session and, you know, rate to what extent is the, is the therapist, um, you know, following the, the, the protocol for that session. Um, they might, you know, meet with families and, um, you know, to try to assess different aspects of their mental health or their, or their, their behavioral functioning. Um, and then I think on the, the, the sort of the back end of it, a lot of you know, what my students do is, is, is help me with, with you know, data analysis and, and writing papers and, um, and really trying to kind of better understand you know, what we found through all those, you know, through all of our efforts uh, out in the field. And so, so through my work, what we do is, is try to kind of better understand what our family's unique needs and how, could, how can we best, best serve those through, you know, through, 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 through providing prevention programming. Yeah, I mean, I think, it, and, and in some ways this is, I think, the, the, the benefit of, of being involved in direct clinical work is that, is that you get to see some of the more, more hands-on aspects of, of how, how you know, diff different types of you know, mental health services can, can really benefit families. And as you know, sometimes through, through research, it's easy to be, um, to be a bit, bit removed from the, the actual a applications of your work because you know, you're spending a lot of time you know, not around the families that you're, you're directly serving. And so, so I think that's one of the things that I really value about you know, maintaining some, some, you know, some clinical involvement is that I'm able to, to, you know, to really see, see changes in families and see how, you know, as parents learn, learn new approaches to, um, to, to res responding to you know, challenging behaviors in, in their kids, how they feel empowered, like they're, you know, they're really able to, um, to respond in a more effective way. And they see their, their children responding in a more positive way as they, as they adjust their approach. Um, so I think you know seeing seeing those those really um, you know day to day changes is something that that I think is is an important aspect of being being involved in this in this kind of work at at, at all levels. Sure. So one one study that I've that I've been involved in um, was was targeting. Um, uh, youth who, who seem to be at, at risk for, for kind of early substance use. And so this, this was a, a school-based study where, where we, we identified a, you know, a, a large sample of, of adolescents who, who were kind of showing some, some early substance use behaviors. And, so, and we, we provided a, a, a relatively brief in, in intervention program for them um, that had one of two formats. It was either a, a kind of a youth-only program where, where they just they received two Two kind of youth-oriented sessions that um, you know that worked on um, you know building their their motivation to change and you know addressing some of the some of the risky situations that they might find themselves in that would promote substance use. Um, so, so some of those those areas were were in those those two sessions, and then the the other format that they received that some of the youth received was a, a youth and a parent version, and so so they received the same the same two youth sessions, but with with the addition of a. Um, of a parent focus, focus session that um, you know helped to address um, you know uh, parents setting effective limits for their kids, um, you know monitoring um, what their kids are up to. Um, so so we, we compared the, those two formats with the goal of kind of better understanding who who, who seems to, to benefit most or who needs you know which which of those two forms because. Um, you know, oftentimes, um, you know, uh, both you know, community agencies, schools are pay faced with limited resources, and so, 
Um, so if they can, you know, if they can offer a brief program that's just as effective as, say, a you know, a, a more intensive program, oftentimes the, the brief program is, is going to be the way to go. Um, and so, so our question was, you know, who really needs that that additional parenting session? And and we were able to to identify using using a measure of of um, of kids uh, uh, kids risky uh, risky decision making. So looking at the extent to which which kids tend to, to make you know kind of impulsive or, or careless choices, um, we were able to come up with a uh, with sort of a, a, a decision rule for who should receive who who seems to benefit the most from this youth and parent version versus the youth only version. And and it, it turns out that in, that kids who you know scored above a certain level on this measure that we had. Um, Really benefited a lot from from having this additional parent session, whereas kids who who were not showing a lot of a lot of impulsive or you know careless um, uh, uh, choices that they, that they were making seemed to you know benefit about equally from this youth only and the youth and parent version. And so um, so that's a that was a nice finding, and that I think we can you know then make you know pretty clear recommendations to a school who might be considering okay you know who who do we offer which program to. You know, based on using this, this fairly simple measure, we can predict who's going to benefit the most from, from each one. You know, I, I love being, being a part of the family social science. It's a, um, it's a really interesting department because I think, you know, we all come from, from many, many different disciplines and many different backgrounds. And, um, but, uh, you know, we share a common interest in, in, in pr promoting the well-being of families. And I think that's a, uh, that brings you know, such, a, you know, a lot, lot of richness to, to, you know, to all of our work, that, that cross-disciplinary cross kind of environment.